Here is another elementary result concerning the normal distribution. This particular result is probably the best known of the three results that are going to be proved here. It states if x has the normal distribution with population mean mu and population variance sigma squared, then the random variable z, which is x minus mu divided by sigma, that random variable will have the normal distribution with mean 0 and variance 1, that is a standard normal random variable. The proof of this result will be done by the cumulative distribution function technique. That technique was introduced in chapter 3. So to begin, f sub z of z, the cumulative distribution function of z, is the probability that z is less than or equal to little z. And that is true by the definition of the cumulative distribution function. Next, if you replace capital Z by x minus mu divided by sigma, and that of course is true by the definition of capital Z, you wind up with this probability. Now within this inequality here, if you multiply by the constant positive value sigma, and then you add mu to both sides of this inequality, you get the probability x is less than or equal to mu plus sigma z. So that is true by a little bit of algebra that is performed on the inequality. Next, if you have the probability that x is less than or equal to something, for some continuous random variable x, you know to integrate from negative infinity up to the something, which happens to be mu plus sigma z in this case, of the probability density function of the random variable x. And the random variable x is normal, and because it's normal, it has this particular probability density function. So this is just done by our usual way of computing probabilities. Now you'll notice that this integration is with respect to x, whereas this integration is with respect to y. So a substitution was made here, and that substitution is y is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. Notice when you make that substitution, this becomes e to the minus 1 half y squared. And when you calculate dy is equal to dx divided by sigma. You, this term right here will drop out. And in addition, your limits, instead of going from negative infinity to mu plus sigma z, will go from negative infinity up to z. And this right here is the integral of the standard normal probability density function from negative infinity to z. And that is recognized as the CDF of a standard normal random variable. And in fact, that's exactly what we wanted to proof, and that will complete the proof.